Yo, yo, fellow beer brewers, how are we all today? So, it's Klein here from Brew Brew, and today we're doing a little Brew Brew Philosophy experiment. Yeah, I nicked all that, sorry. Um, so, you've probably seen one of my videos recently regarding the Whirlpool attachment for the Bruzella or Robobrew, whatever you want to call it. And there was a comment on uh, that that video asking, they'd be interested to see the difference between the Whirlpool attachment, that's that bad boy, and just the normal recirculation arm, that bad boy. So I thought, I'm gonna do it. I've got an afternoon free. So what I'm doing is, in the background here, we've got the Robo Brew coming up to temperature. So I'm gonna bring it up to 101 degrees. So normally I would bring my beer up to about 102, but I'm gonna bring it up to 101. I'm just using water, right? I thought, I'm not messing around with making up a wart and stuff because I don't have time to brew properly today, especially if I'm gonna have to do this twice. So I've got one lot of water coming up just now and uh, we've got our, um, we've got our chiller already in there, hooked up. Um, I'm gonna take some measurements, temperature measurements, which I'll pop on screen right here for you for the first session, and we'll try as much as possible to get the second one identical if we can. Um, so I'm gonna do the whirlpool attachment first. We'll do it first, and then we'll do the second one, and we'll see just how much difference it is, taking it from 101 degrees right down to 21 is gonna be my target temperature. And I'm going exactly by the temperature thermometer on the Robobrew slash Bruzella. Um, so I'm not messing about with manual thermometers, uh, given that we're using the same thing for both experiments, the Robobrew is gonna be the master of measurements. So, let's see how we get on. We're just coming up to temperature. So this is our first one, so we've got our recirculation arm on here. And you can see we've got uh, just above 24 litres once it's warmed up. It was about 23 litres that I put in. Um, <clears throat> so we'll make sure that we get bang on exactly the same amount of water in our second lot. So we're just almost coming up to temperature. Temperature at the moment is 98 degrees. As you can see there, target temperature is 101. So once it gets to 101, we'll start the timer and we'll see how long it takes. So batch number two, uh, we're just coming to boil again, as you can see. We're just a smidgen above 24 litres, so exactly the same amount of water in. We're almost up to temperature, we're at 98 of the 100 degrees. I know it says 101, but we're only going to 100. And we're just waiting for it to come to temperature and then we'll cool. Well, 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 there you have it. So, the whirlpool attachment, in terms of chilling, at least, no difference. I mean, you're talking one or two seconds, and given, you know, we're not in lab conditions here, far from it, as you've noticed from my little mishaps, but those mishaps were, were not enough to make any difference between those two experiments. Um, the conditions were exactly the same, water temperatures, air temperatures done the same day, right back to back. Our cooler was empty water when we, when we started it. Um, temperature of the vessel, exact, everything was exactly the same. Um, and to get like within a couple of seconds of one another, no difference at all. Will I carry on using the whirlpool attachment? Yes, because I paid money for it. <laughs> However, if you're watching this thinking, mm, I wonder, is it worth it? Probably not, unless you're gonna use that for a pull attachment for something else, i.e. like, you know, for hopping at the end, different kettle of fish. But if you're buying it thinking, wow, it's gonna speed up my kind of time to get that down to pitching temperature, wouldn't bother, don't waste your money. The good old recirculation arm that comes with it is doing exactly the same job. It's obviously just churning up the water inside the vessel enough that it's just cooling it down um, just as effectively. So, can't argue with it. 
first experiment and the myth about the whirlpool attachment being quicker is busted.